there's one thing you have to be careful in that transaction. I need to be careful the arm not to push this like that. I already know that when my body, my weight goes over that way, this leg is light. So he will try to put, catch him in the half guard. Knowing that, once I'm here, the moment that I'm there, I will fight against it. I'm straight away. I already know that a good guy will push that leg. Because that's the same way then the guard, when the guy brings the second leg up, he's vulnerable. That's my point of vulnerability here. Now that my weight comes off. Go behind it straight away and pull. Straight away. You're here. He's there. I'm already expecting to go against him. And now I'm starting to pull. Because to stop him pushing my leg, I do this. Now I don't need to worry about the arm because I'm already very tight. And we go back to the same position before. Because now he needs to lock his arm. He has to. The arm stays there pushing me. Oh, he tapped. No defense. So he needs to lock. So from here, we get to here. We still have to deal with this. Still hard, strong guy. He's going to hold really tight. So... When I'm on this position, I try to stay here as long as I can. I don't do this. Because a strong guy is still a big fight here, it's not easy. It's too hard. But if I go really, really tight, really high, I get really deep into his armpit, I bend my legs and I lean in. He's suffering. My weight is crushing yeah. into his <laughs> plexus. And regardless of what he tried to lock, if I can find his finger, his wrist, my body look, he's old. A lot of the times I catch people here, I don't even sit back. If I can get really tight in here, I don't sit back. I bring his arm, look. I don't even need to step my leg over. Here, oh, they tap. I guess a good guy is harder, but I, was, I fall with his arm. 